But tonight, we are going to talk about vision mapping and how vision mapping can transform your life, your business. Please comment below. If you can hear me, give me thumbs up, give me some hearts. Let me know where you're joining in from. And have you ever created a vision map? I would love to know. I'm not seeing any comments. I'm seeing so many people joining though. This is so awesome. It is 8.15 here in Alaska. Uh, we've, we're on our own time zone. So comment, please give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. I'm hoping that you can. I'm not seeing any thumbs up. Christy, would you give me a thumbs up? Let me know if you can hear me okay. Uh, so I, as I said, my business is called Alaska Tracy. I'm the founder of Alaska Tracy, and I help women who are looking to add calmness, clarity, and prosperity into their businesses and their lives using my vision mapping framework. Thanks for the thumbs up. Please comment where you're joining in from. Um, I'm also a certified almost master coach. I'm, I'm just finishing up my master coach program and I'm a member of the International Coaching Federation. And I thank you all for joining tonight. Hands up, who has ever done a vision map? A vision map. San Diego, welcome, welcome. Hello from Wisconsin. Who has done, Nigeria's on board. Who has done a vision map? So think of it this way. Uh, many of us have done a vision board, hands up. A vision board where you cut pretty pictures and you, things that you want to, accomplish or go to or achieve in life and then you hang that pretty board up and you look at it and sometimes those visions come true right well a vision map is taking it to the next level think of it this way who's had an idea or a thought or a vision and you've thought about it over and over and over and you go to bed and you sleep, you, you think about it in your sleep. Look at all these beautiful women joining. Oh, this is wonderful. There's so many of you. How wonderful. So you think about this idea. Okay, you've thought about it, right? And you lose sleep over it. You think about it. And then one day you're randomly scrolling on social media. And somebody else has had that same exact dream or vision or idea. Hi, Libby, welcome. And they took actions and they're succeeding with it. Oh, has that ever happened to you? So you're thinking about it, dreaming about it, and then you're scrolling and you see somebody else had that same idea and they're actually doing something with it and succeeding. Well, if anybody's ever read the book, Big Magic with Elizabeth Gilbert, she talks about these visions right? And they come knocking on our door. Scarlet knows, or Starletta knows. Starletta, you've had that experience, right? So these visions, they come knocking on our door. And we get to choose. We get to choose whether we're going to take actions to create the reality, or if we're going to let that vision cruise on down the street to the neighbor's door and knock on the neighbor's door. And often the neighbors open the door and they start taking actions and they start having success. And oftentimes, I don't know about you, raise your hand if, you, if you're one of these people. I'm one of these people where I've kicked myself. I've gone, oh, why didn't I? Why I should have, I could have, I would have. Well, this vision mapping framework is the guide, the roadmap to get you those results. And I'm going to give you three tools. We've got time. Got to move fast here because I want you to have these three tools that you can walk away from tonight and you can actually start using them. Okay. So the first tool is how do we connect our hearts to our heads? Because many of us tend to lead with our heads thinking that maybe that's a good idea to go that way. Maybe that's a good idea to jump on that vision. Maybe it's a good idea to strive for that goal. 
Starletta, you know that, right? For me, what's happened when I've led with my head, oftentimes I wake up going, how did I get into this career? How did I get into this relationship? How did I get here, wherever here is? If we're able to get clarity and allow our heart to lead us, so our heart to connect to our head, then oftentimes we're able to love what we're doing, who we're with, where we're living. And I believe there's no mistakes, right? So I also believe that if we follow with our heart, things can be easier <laughs> than if we're fouling with our head, right? Like we get choices. And if, we're, if we choose to follow our heart, it's often so much easier than our head. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you this first tool, ready? I want you to get in, get in a comfortable seated position or laying down and get really comfortable and maybe loosen your shoulders up a little. And if you can shut your eyes, we're gonna do a quick meditation. And it's all about connecting our heart to our head. And if you wanna close your eyes, go ahead. I'm gonna close my eyes so I'm not looking at who's watching. And it's gonna be quick. We're gonna do a quick two minutes. I'm not gonna keep, keep time though. So I want you to think about breathing in and breathing out. And maybe that's the mantra. So you can focus on breath in and breath out. So breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And I use the mantra, cool air in, warm air out. And allow yourself to repeat that mantra, cool air in, warm air out. As you settle into your seated position, cool air in, warm air out. And your mind may have a tendency to want to take it shopping or do the to-do list or go a hundred million different places and that's okay. It's being aware and coming back to cool air in and warm air out. Maybe as you're doing your breath work, cool air in, warm air out. You feel your shoulders relaxing a little bit. Maybe your face muscles, your facial muscles are relaxing. Your neck feels a little relaxed. Cool air in, warm air out. Allow those thoughts to come in and breathe those thoughts out. Cool air in. Warm air out. Now slowly wiggle your toes and wiggle your feet and maybe stretch. Oh, and welcome back. Open your eyes and give yourself a big hug. Mm, how did that feel? Meditation is a practice. And the more you can practice, the more you can connect your heart to your head. Who practices meditation here? Who practices meditation? Hands up. And do you do guided meditation or do you do still meditation? Any meditators out there? Okay, so that's the first tool. It's connecting the practice of connecting your heart to your head through meditation. The second tool, as I'm looking at my notes here, is power words, your mantra. I like to call it your mantra. And when I'm, I'm guiding people on their vision mapping experience, their vision mapping journey, 
I have them use a big, or I tell them, this is how I do it. I use an easel paper and in this, and I use all sorts of colored pens and sticky notes and, and Pamela meditates and Pam, do you meditate to guided meditation or do you meditate in silent meditation? So I use this big easel paper to start the vision mapping process. And in the center is a big circle. So the center of whatever piece of paper you're going to use is the core of your vision map. Okay, the core is in the center or the mantra. Or as one of my members of Visions to Profits membership calls it, her power words. So when you think of your power words, and you might have power words, if you have them, go ahead and, and um, put in the comment what your power words are if you know them right now. For me, what happened was um, Pam does a bit of both silent and guided meditation. Good for you, Pam. Way to connect your heart to your head. Way to go. Um, so a mantra is power words. They're really strong words. They're the foundation of your vision map. And for my power words, I've used a couple different phrases. And if you can think of power words as simple as Nike, what's, what's Nike's power words? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna wait till somebody comments. Nike has power words that they use. What are they? So these power words, they're strong and they're gonna, they're gonna be the foundation of your map. They're gonna hold everything in place. And they're gonna be the words that you can look at when the shit hits the fan, when the obstacles in life appear, cause they're gonna appear, right? Just do it, Vicki got it, woohoo! Just do it, Christy got it, right? Those words, just do it. They're simple, April got it, just do it. Right, they're, okay, so they're strong words, right? They're simple and they're strong, just do it. And they guide people, their customers to them, their clients to them, their contractors, their employees. They're really strong, powerful words. So your foundation, your power words are strong words that will almost jolt you when you are struggling. And they'll remind you of why, in fact, you want to obtain the goals that you're putting down on your vision map. So I've used words, um, serve others, be the light. And what that means to me, serve others, be the light, is if I am whining and complaining and fear-based, fear of not enough of something, money, um, whatever, right? If I'm in fear, if I'm wallowing, if I'm um, in self, I'm not able to serve others. And how am I going to attract people to my business and my life if I'm in self? So serve others, be the light reminds me when I'm having a crappy day to look and to ask myself, am I in fact serving others? Pamela says her power words are be still. I love that. Pamela, when you see those words, what does it remind you? I know to be still, but, but what, what does it empower you to do? So um, serve others, be the light. One year I had my mantra, um, it was slow my roll. We have a rescue German shepherd uh, puppy that we've trained. She's two and a half now. Serve others, be the light, Camellia. And I'm sorry if I mess up your names. I'm terrible with pronunciation. Serve others, Camellia, you can use that. If that works for you, serve others and be the light. Shut off the chatter. I love that, Pamela. So be still to you reminds you to shut off the chatter. Good for you. Worthy. You are worthy. I love that. You are worthy. So we were, my husband and I were training this German Shepherd rescue puppy 
Belgian Malinois that we got. And the trainer knew me really well, knows me really well. And I had her leash and I was yanking her and I went, ah, I was, and my trainer friend looked at me and she said, whoa, you need to slow your roll. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> who are you talking to? And she said, Tracy, if you are not slowing down, how do you expect her to slow down? Christy says, go to the throne, not the phone. Is that, are that, is that really your power words? Go to the throne, not your phone? That's hysterical. What, what does that invoke in you? What is that invoking you? So slow my roll. Um, so she was like, if you slow down and pay attention to the command that you're giving her, she will understand you. And the reality is, as a business life coach, as a consultant, as a member of society, <laughs> if I'm moving super fast, I have no chance of connecting with others, right? So if I can slow my roll, I can listen to what others are saying and I can be genuine and serve others, right? So I want you to think about your mantra. And a lot of you have told me what you have already. If you don't have one, Christy says um, for hers, I love hers. Christy reminds me to keep God in my center and to not people to, to not to tell people too much of your plans ahead. Good. That's good. And Camelia, I also love the quote, she believed she could, so she did. Very good. And Christy says, and it reminds her not to gossip. That's that's wonderful. So if those of you that are thinking about your mantra, if you could over the next few days start writing words and the shorter and crispiest, crispier you can keep it, the easier it'll be for you to carry it around with you, right? Um, Pamela, this is good. I'm going to have to write this one down. Yes, write it down. Write it down and put it up somewhere. One of my clients uh, created her vision map and she was traveling all the time for her her business. And so she made her vision map a screensaver so that every time she opened her computer, she would see her vision map. Okay. So those of you that are coming up with your um, uh, um, mantra in the next few days, please pop them in the comments. Okay. Cause I love to read mantras. Okay. So I've got a couple more minutes here. Um, the last tool I'm going to give you, the last tool, and this one's super important, and then I'm going to tell you about my cool workshop I have tomorrow, and I'm hoping a lot of you will show up for it. Okay, so start with one goal, one, one goal. How many times have you had, I'm raising my hand, have you had 10 ideas you wanted to implement tomorrow? How many times? And how has that worked out for you? For me, it's overload. And then I get um, anxious and I put too much on my plate. And then I start self-sabotaging. Can anybody relate to that? And then I don't do anything. And I see it happen often with a lot of the women that I'm coaching or that I'm consulting with. So one goal. What is the one goal that you want to achieve over the next 30 days? And, and is that one goal aligned with your heart? How will you know? Is it aligned with the mantra that you wrote first before you come up with the goal? Pamela says, wow, this is really timely. I've been thinking about my plans for 2021 and these tools will tie in so well. I definitely relate. Pamela, I want you to come to my workshop tomorrow. Um, 
So one goal, write down one goal. Let all the other goals, you can write the other goals down somewhere else and, and put, them, put them somewhere else. Focus on that one goal for the next 30 days. And Christy says, fear stems in when I get paralyzed. Me too, Christy. And I see it happen with others as well. Like we're not alone, right? Seth's in, I got it. I, I got what you meant. Um, okay, so I gave you three tools. Meditation, the practice of connecting your heart to your head. The second tool, creating that mantra, those power words. And the third tool, start with one goal, one goal. The actions go under the goal. And if you come to my workshop tomorrow, you'll see how it's all set up. I walk you through the whole process. In 90 minutes, you'll leave with your whole vision map for, I do it for quarters. I do with my members, they get it free. They get quarterly workshops for free and I open it up to the public. Um, you'll leave with a quarterly or a yearly however you wanna do it. So we jam for 90 minutes. Um, so you'll see how it's all set up. But with that goal, back to your goal, in the goal, you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself, who, what, when, where, and how can help me to get to this goal? Who, what, where, when, and how can help me to get to this goal? And that'll help you to line it out, those action steps that will actually help you to get to the goal. And Pamela, I would love to be on your podcast. Um, let's connect. connect. Send me a friend request. That'd be great. So, um, thank, and thank you. Uh, so in your goal, which is a circle on the vision map, my framework, ask yourself who, what, when, where, and how will help you achieve and get to that goal. And Christy says, setting small goals help you achieve bigger goals. And since they, the sense of finally completing something is empowering, it, it's so empowering. If you get to that point and you're on your own, whether you connect with me or somebody else, I encourage you, like I would love for you to connect with me. And if you don't, and you find somebody else, that's okay. My goal is to serve others and be the light, right? So the more accountability that you can add to your goal, you up the chance of succeeding and making it happen. So connecting the heart to the head, writing it down, writing the action steps, putting accountability in place, who is going to help you to stay accountable to get to that end result, and then measuring it. So you may take 10 steps forward and two steps backwards. So how are, how are you going to pivot to keep going forward, measuring it, keeping track somehow of it? Okay, I want to tell you about my workshop. It's tomorrow and it's called Forge Your Path. It's my quarterly vision mapping workshop. I've been doing these vision mapping workshops, teaching and consulting and women's retreats for years. I love, 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 love. It's a highlight of my life doing them. I've taken five hours a weekend workshop and I've condensed it into 90 minutes for $47. That's it. Women have paid and men because um, I've gone into corporations and organizations and done these workshops as well. They've paid anywhere from $500 to $1,000 for these workshops, $47. Um, the, I have a membership called Visions to Profits membership community. And the, a lot of the women have done the workshops over and over and over. And they laugh because they've done the five hour workshop or the weekend workshop. And they're like, how are you gonna fit all that into 90 minutes? And I started doing them quarterly for the members um, last quarter. They get it in their membership and they all came back and they said, we love the quarterly because we can break our year into the quarters. We don't have to put this huge map for the whole year 
Um, I think a couple of them did though, but, but most of the women are really, really, really liking breaking down goals into quarters. And so I will pop the link. Oh, I can just pop it in the comments here um, below. It's called, and I should have it up here. Why don't I have it up here? Um, you can find it under alaskatracy.com on the top and it's called Forge Your Path. And I'm copying it and pasting it right now and popping it into the comments. And you can just go join for 47 bucks. If, oh, it's at four o'clock Alaska time. We're our own time zone. Uh, so it is five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock Eastern. And I will be recording it. So if you really want to come and you've got a scheduling conflict and you want the recording, you can get that as well. There is a power that happens. How many of you have done group workshops with other women? Hands up, group workshops or retreats with other women? There's a powerful force <laughs> that happens when a group of women come together. And I encourage everybody that comes to the workshop live to have their video on Zoom. And we're all super casual um, because there's a synergy that happens within the group. April, you know of it, right? There's like, if you've not attended a women's gathering, um, a growth gathering, it's, I encourage you to attend. It's so powerful and so cool to see women helping women. Imagine that, <laughs> right? Um, so I've got two minutes. Does anybody have any questions? I ran a rehab. Christy, I ran a rehab for a struggling. Hey, Christy, um, I am a recovering alcoholic of 22 years. And that I will save for another live where I share my story. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. Uh, so my life, I, I got to hit bottom, crash and burn, and then and then get my life together. And it's it's been an amazing journey. Camelia, my membership is called Visions to Profits. And you can find it on my website alaskatracy.com alaskatracy. Christy right on good for you that's awesome it's a wonderful way of living tracy.com does anybody else have any other questions so if you go to alaskatracy.com you'll see uh, in the my offerings visions to profits membership and we are open, the doors are open. And you're a drug counselor through, oh, wonderful. Christy, that's awesome. Camelia, thank you, great. Let me know if you have any questions. I thank you all for being here tonight with me. This is so much fun, I'm really enjoying this. And um, I love this group Christine has created. She's done an amazing job, hasn't she? I just. I'm floored by her, Christina, Christine Rowe. I am floored by her. So thank you all. It is, my time is up. Um, I look forward to seeing a lot of you tomorrow for the Vision Map Workshop. Please let me know if you have any questions and I would love to connect with many of you. Over and out, talk to you again soon from Alaska's, Alaska Tracy's office in the trees. Thanks, Pamela. I can't wait to connect with you. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a great night.